Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating inside of Canva. And um, look, stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. So before we get started in today's design, there are two things I want to introduce you to Canva Pro and Stand Store. So with Canva Pro, just in case you're looking at having a lot done in Canva in terms of removing the background images of your photos, when it comes to adding more brand kits to your Canva account, when it comes to working with multiple clients, when it comes to scheduling you know, your Canva content directly from Canva to any social media platform, and also when it comes to resizing your designs with a click into any dimension at all you want, then I think Canva Pro is something Thing you should try so i have a special link in the description box below that can help you to be able to you know try canva pro for free for 30 days and when it comes to stand store look when it comes to adding the link in your bio or this whole check the link in my bio and all of that i think stand store is the best um you know platform for you to be able to add so many links okay and one interesting things about stand store is you are able to sell directly from stand store without you know redirecting your audience from instagram so everything happens on instagram and that's the beauty of it so i also have a special link you know to stand store so that you can be able to create your stand store today so let's dive into canva and let's get started with today's design i'm tired Okay, so after, mm, there's no after. Look, click on the new design, okay, and choose the dimension 1080 by 1350. You should see something like this. And the first thing we are going to do is to add our text. So depending on the football player you want to have, I'm going for Timo Werner. Okay, so I'm going for Timo Werner. I know you say Werner, but you know they get to pronounce it as Werner. He's got Havertz in space. It's Kai Havertz. Oh, it was a brilliant effort. And Werner's headed in. Okay, because he's um, he's uh, what do you call it? A German, I believe so. Yeah. So the thing is, um, I'm a Chelsea fan as well. Just in case you didn't know, yay to all the Chelsea fans out there. So I would, you know, duplicate, you know, and um, maybe I can bring this one here duplicate it and um maybe timo Werner can come here so in this case you are just trying to you know be creative you understand then we put this one also over here then maybe the last you know maybe the last two can come to the bottom so when you do that select everything okay then come to position you understand and click tidy up oh no not tidy up come on so come to position okay and click vertically so that it just arranges it for us you understand so this is what we want then i'll select all again and i'll group them okay so that we'll have something like this so when you stretch you can see the interesting thing about it you can only stretch but don't um compress it too much okay so this is very interesting it looks like an animation you see okay so now that we've done that the next thing we are going to do is to let me see okay is to add a shape so increase the size just something like this and i would come to position and okay it's already centered and middled okay so this is fine then what we have to do next is to add timo Werner. but you can see that you know part of him is black and white and part of him is colored and you'll be wondering how you know like what what on earth did you know or how was this possible inside of canva and this is where i must say i gotcha look i gotcha okay so um this what happened okay in fact let me change the yellow because this yellow doesn't look appetizing okay this looks really appetizing okay so i think before we do all of this very nice stuff let's add everything in the back okay and this so i would come to element and i will search for pattern okay p-a-t-t-e-r-n okay and you should see so many interesting pattern you know over here in canva but you can also come to graphics and see a lot more okay but make sure you are choosing any pattern that gives you the opportunity to change color okay so i change it to a blue because i'm a proud chelsea fan like trust me i'm a proud chelsea fan uh, yeah okay so 
you see what I've done. Then I added a shape. Press R on my keyboard for a shape, and I will do this, and I'll stretch it out like this. And the color of it would okay. So we use, we'll maintain the color. Okay. Then I added, you know, Timo Werner, you know, the name over here. So I'll just select the Timo, copy and paste it over here. Okay. And the Werner also, I'll just copy and paste that one also over here. Then I can just, um, I think I found this, I did something to this element. So I'll just add it over here. You understand? So it's the same thing. But what I did was with this one, I saved it as an image. And how I did that was I just created a new page copy, paste. And if I want, I can increase the size okay to something like this and i can you know just center it then i came to share download choose page three okay not all pages just page three and click on done and make sure you choose transparent background so after you choose transparent background you download it and you re-upload it in canva and um, the thing about this transparent background is it's only available in canva pro i don't know if with the free version of canva if it's available but all i know is it's only available in canva pro so try canva pro okay there's a link i have in the description box below okay so then i would add all of this fancy text over here okay because this tutorial should be a very quick one no time to waste okay so now that we've done all of this in fact let me add the iconic chelsea logo and those of you who are other supporters look but your teams are not better than Chelsea. I'm telling you for a fact. And if you want to challenge me, you can challenge me in the comment section below and I'll come for you. Trust me, you. Okay? Okay? Better. Okay. So, after we do all of that, now I come to my uploads because I have Timo Werner over here. But you can use any player of your choice, you know, depending on. But I think you should use Chelsea because that's what will make your design look beautiful. Okay. So, you see, I have Havertz over here and i can use him if i want but i'll go with timo Werner. okay so i bring him to the front and i would increase the size so what i'm going to do here is i would come to um edit image and before i do that no duplicate is first come here and remove the background of it okay so we would remove the background first of all then we click on apply and we you know with the duplicate we also do the same for it so we would remove background and we should have something like this okay so then increase the size of a okay increase the size i forgot this whole step <laughs> i thought i missed the step i'm sorry <laughs> okay so you can see you can increase the movena like that and we'll crop him like this i would crop him like that okay and we'll crop him like this and we'll crop him like that okay so it should be like this very easy and very simple then i will duplicate him okay so after i duplicate him out come to the initial um, image come to edit image and we'll go to filters so in filter we are going to make him black and white so choose street and you should see something like this then i position you know this one directly on the old one or on the on the original one if i should put it that way then i come to edit image in edit image i'll click on remove background again and this is where all of the magic is going to happen okay so when i do that i'll come to erase and this is what i'm going to do i will zoom in okay and you can see zoom into you can have a lot of them then we are going to erase you know the skin okay so you just have to take your time and erase all of it okay then i do the same over here just take your time make sure you are taking your time and there's a reason why i'm not speeding up with this particular part of the tutorial because i don't want you to think i use magic this is what i actually did and that's why i'm showing you i'm taking my time to do all of this okay but there are some of the parts where you know for example with this tiny part look no one is going to actually um pay attention to that because i don't think they would see it okay so if the brush size is so big reduce it 
and you will uh, you know just remove okay so beautiful okay so i think there's one more thing i have to do i have to remove all of these legs so i position this here i remove it remove all of it and this is what we have at the moment so once i click on done and apply and i reduce it this is how it's going to look so i now have to click and drag it on it directly on top of the black and white design okay and you can see how this is looking so this is what i did in canva very easy and very simple and um you know this type of things are usually um, achievable in photoshop very easily but this time around we've been able to achieve it inside of canva so i hope you found this tutorial and this trick very um helpful and um it should be able to help you with any other design you want to do don't forget if you want more tutorials from this particular channel or from me there are three things you have to do hit on the subscribe button the bell icon and check my channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next tutorial Yeah. <laughs>